Kia ora whanau and welcome to another episode of Get a Job and Get Healthy with Costas Enterprises. Uh, I am your host as always, Alex Costas, and today we're going to be talking about, it, it's quite a cool little feature, Teespring have just launched. Um, will it change the game? Possibly, possibly. Um, for those that don't know, I am uh, currently doing my journey in passive income. And one of the things that Passive Income uh, is a print-on-demand service. Well, Teespring have just done something which is very cool, very shocking. Now, it may appeal to you, it may not appeal to you, um, uh, but for some of you, it will be truly amazing. Um, I do want to start off by saying, please feel free to pop along to my um, website, uh, costasenterprises.business.blog. Uh, if you would like to know more about these things, as well as follow my other uh, social media, as well as my podcasts. Uh, if you are a listener, I do want to say thank you um, from the front. Uh, I really appreciate people that are listening to these. Um, so far, I am almost at about 330 people listening to my podcast, which is just shocking, considering I've only been doing this, what, 25 episodes now? Um so what we're going to talk about is the Teespring uh, change. Now for those that don't know, Teespring is one of the sites that I use for my print-on-demand. Uh, print-on-demand, for those that don't know, if this is your first time listening, is uh, a way that you can earn passive income by basically uploading designs uh, and having these designs put onto products. The products are created, manufactured, and then shipped all by the business. Um, so basically as long as you have the rights to uh, upload the design and and for them to print the design you can effectively do that um, so what's the change you may ask well for those that don't know Teespring are currently trialling the ability to upload uh, and distribute digital content and you might go hang on what, what do you mean well for me, my business that I talk about, I talk about things like uh, free CVs and cover letters and all those sorts of things. Well, Teespring have just launched so that I am able to host things like an ebook that I might want to get distributed, um, maybe a wallpaper for your phone or a maybe a Facebook cover that you've created that you want to you want to charge people. And this can be something as small as a dollar and 20. Now, the cool thing about Teespring is they're saying they are not charging uh, much of a hosting fee. They take a little bit, probably about a dollar 50 off each product. Now, I have uploaded currently two things. Uh, one a cover letter and template and also a CV template um, to my Teespring account just as a tester. I've already had one person, uh, or at least one person, view both. Um, but the simple fact that you are able to now have a place to host and distribute your own digital content, and that can be posters, that can be books, that can be all of those sorts of things, is pretty amazing. Um, because usually you would pay for a hosting fee, and you know if you are one of these people that is a... a an inspiring artist that wants to you know get their stuff out there and not just on the conventional t-shirts and posters but on the digital frame um so that you might you know they might be able to someone might be able to use your image and or use your um use just a a, a calendar that you've created um it's pretty amazing um and the really, really cool thing is you set the profit. You set the price. Now, I will admit, when I first created this, I did put it quite high. I put it at about, well, I, I thought it was high. It was still pretty low compared to what you would pay if you hired someone to create you a CV or a cover letter. If, if, so to give you a little bit of background, for a CV um, or a cover letter created by a business, in New Zealand, like a proper recruitment company, it's going to cost you about $200 each. 
Um, there'd probably be a combo deal for about $300, but nine times out of 10, the CV and the cover letter that you get will actually be part of their templates. Now, I will usually, and if you guys do need, you can go to my website and find free templates, both a free, v, free CV and a free cover letter template, um, which you can use. Now, I have uploaded these, so you guys are in the know, but for those that don't know, I've uploaded two, both a CV and a cover letter to my Teespring, and I, I, I've just changed the price. The original price I had on them was uh, $10 US for the cover letter, and uh, $19 for the CV template. Uh, now, these are just simple templates. These are something that can be, you know, two to three minutes um, you can fill out and you can effectively have a CV or a cover letter. Um, so quite convenient, I thought. I have since just dropped the prices a bit, um, making the cover letter sort of $5 or $4.99, sorry, um, and the CV template about $9.99. So um, I did that about five minutes before I started this podcast. So I will be interested to see if they do generate any income. Now, of course, I have not advertised these because I've previously advertised on my social media the free versions of these particular um, templates. So I'm sort of leaving this up to the general public that will find these particular um, products. And, and if they find them helpful, then, you know, that's okay to make money off them. But if, if you're one of my listeners, I don't want to make money off you. I would rather you pop along to my website, download these particular templates, um, and leave a comment. Let me know how if it worked for you or anything like that as well, because that would be quite helpful. But what this opens up is quite a huge selection like you can pretty much upload pdfs word docs powerpoints like you could create a uh, a powerpoint effectively you could create yourself a course upload it in powerpoint as a powerpoint show and then have that person download that powerpoint show and effectively you're teaching them without having to host it on an e-learning platform um, and you can charge whatever you feel like it's worth. Um, now, this is still in the infancy in its stage. They are still beta testing it. So I imagine that if it works well, Redbubble or Merch by Amazon will start to think, hey, we can do the same thing. Because Merch by Amazon sort of already do this. They they have eBooks which you can buy through the Amazon Kindle. Um, and also, you can just buy normal, as long as you've got a Kindle app, you can do the same thing. So, I think it's going to be a very, very interesting change for things like print-on-demand, given that you're not just restricted to those particular things. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't have my computer in front of me at the moment, so I can't give you the exact details of all the files and the formats that you can actually use for this, but... When I did have my first initial look, I noticed it was things like Word documents, Excel, PDFs, PowerPoints. Um, You can create, uh, one of the things that they're they're promoting is things like digital posters, digital covers, digital wallpapers. So, So a simple JPEG or a simple PDF could be used. Now, of course, if you do create these images and you sell them, you are basically giving people uh the right to use these documents now depending on how you password you know you could password protect it and send an email with them saying hey thanks for this you'll need this password to do this please don't distribute this you paid for it yada yada you could do that um however because it is digital content if you're not going to do something like add a watermark or um in my instance the ones that i've created i've created them so that people can use them so you can type in what you need so I've created just a simple document I could have created these as PDFs um, meaning that the people would have to look at it and then basically create their own based on what I've created or otherwise they have a version to edit the PDF and so forth but being realistic what I want people to do is with the ones that I've created and supplied is to use them is to create their own CV their own cover letter based on the, the format that I've got there to help them. That said, if you are doing this yourself, you may want to uh, look at exactly what it is that you're wanting to upload 
uh, what designs you're wanting to maybe distribute or templates that you're wanting to create. I mean, it could be a simple, it could be a simple calendar for next year um, where you've created the calendar, maybe you've created it in Word, you've made it landscape, you've turned it into a PDF. That's that. That's now digital content. But the great thing about this is, one, the no hosting fees. So you're not being you're not being charged to host any amount of J gigabytes and all that sort of things. There is a limit to what you can download and upload um, for gigabit space, and I believe it's around about fifty to sixty megabytes, which is it's not bad. You know, it's, uh, you you know, if you do have one of those files where it's going to be quite a lot of pictures and stuff, you maybe you want to create your own maybe you want to create your own photo book. Um, of your designs and upload those as an ebook uh, that people can look at. You know, you will probably need to make the quality of your your uh, photos a little bit less uh, so that they stay under the 50 megabytes. But at the same time, it does open up quite a bit of ways for artists um, uh, to be able to create their own content and host that content for free that people can instantly get. So basically what happens is as soon as you as soon as you create this this um, digital content, upload it, um, you are required to provide like a photo um, or an image of what it is that the people are getting. I have put an image up on there, not of the actual template itself, but of my front cover. So I've created these as if they're like very mini books. And by mini books, I mean it's three pages long, basically, each one. And with that, I've gone, you know, this is the thing. And I could flesh it out a little bit more. Um, and I may I may do that at some time. I'm, I'm basically, I'm testing the waters yet. Because if, if this works, then I have a couple of ideas that I'm thinking about doing. And we'll plan to distribute those in the future through Teespring. And it might be, for example, a book of all my posts. Um, but you know formatted to be a reading as a book uh it could be uh for for you guys that know um i've been doing a keto journey which i sort of stopped but am just starting up again uh it could be a keto recipe book for example for the for the modern man for example uh the the one that doesn't know how to cook very well um and put photos and stuff like you can basically create your own publications host them, create them, and sell them. And then the person gets it instantly. They get an email with a download link. They click the download link and boom, there it is. So to be a part of that, at that stage, to be able to produce and publish your own content at very little cost to you, um, it may cost you to do certain things depending on what it is that you're wanting to create but for the most part a lot of the stuff that you can probably find is a lot cheaper and easier now and uh, especially if we're doing things online of course now you are not just restricted to this you can do things like music um, so if you're a, a, a budding rock band that wants to you know um do your own versions of the Beatles for example granted if you say that you're using the Beatles then of course they're gonna they're not gonna host it because it is trademarked and so forth but if you were to upload single songs maybe you upload jingles for certain things I'm, I'm spitballing here but the simple fact is this is one of the other file formats that you can now host through Teespring and it can be done. Now, I don't know if video is inclusive. Um, I think it is. So you could create instructional videos and upload those as well. Um, I will double check that. I will be writing a, a blog post about this in the coming future. Um, the first one I will do is, as I talked about last week, I will do one on Queenstown. Um, and I still need to write my blog post for Place It as well. I know, I know, I'm a couple of weeks out. Um, you will get a couple of blog posts coming soon. But this particular object I will go over, and I will probably go over how you create these um, and upload these documents for an example. Um, but for that, I would need to make more content on that particular thing, which is one of the things I am looking at doing. 
So, what does this mean for you? Well, depending on what you've created with your own print-on-demands, what you could effectively create is some of your images, your maybe your favourite images, if you rescale them so that they are actually for like a wallpaper for a, uh, for for your for your smartphone, you can host it, charge I don't know a dollar twenty, maybe you might get about a twenty cent um, uh, or thirty cent profit on that. But at the same time, still pretty amazing, especially if you've got a few of those, and especially if you are branding yourself. So if you're one of these designers that has their own brand that wants to you know get out there a bit more um you don't really want to give away your designs for free you would rather people pay something this is another way of you being able to to make those designs freely available worldwide it's not just restricted to you know certain countries this is worldwide anybody can grab this and use this so i strongly suggest people check it out and you can go to my website i'll, I'll put all my details in there you don't have to buy anything. As I said, I've already got those things hosted on my website. And the only thing that's different is I've added an extra page, which is a cover page. I'm going to be completely transparent with you. Um, but you can have a look at what, it are, what I've got. You'll have an idea of what it is that you can do. And then if you go onto Teespring, just do a quick search and um, search for digital content and see what's out there to get your own mind throwing. This is a new way of you being able to use the tools that you've got um, and the tools that you're already using to create other content which you can now sell a lot cheaper than any other way so yeah I, I hope everyone tries it um, has a look and lets me know Flip me through an email um, my email is doncostas at gmail.com that's d-o-n for uh, nike uh, c-o-s-t-a-s at gmail.com or leave a message uh, on my blog uh, which is costasenterprises.business.blog um, and then you'll be able to connect with me and, and I do love connecting with my uh, with my followers like you guys are amazing I love that you know uh, everyone sort of listens to me every week uh, which is still just a little bit surreal I'm, I'm going to be honest um, but I want to hear your stories. Like, what, what are you planning on doing? What, what are you doing for print on demand? What's making you go, oh, this is really cool? Or if you follow me for my CV and my um, cover letter sort of comments, what is it that you're using? You know, what has worked, what hasn't worked? See if I can help you because I, I really do want to help you. And if you're following this for the sort of uh, the health stuff that I do and the mental health, and maybe you just need someone to talk to. Uh, about this sort of stuff or maybe you've got an idea of someone I should follow and, and, and look into as well please feel free to contact me um, on those those avenues more than happy to talk to anybody other than that I want to say a big thank you um, for listening as well I know this is going to be quite a short podcast compared to some of my other podcasts um, but being realistic there's not really much we can go down apart from hey, you need to try this, you should try this. Why aren't you trying this? Have you tried this yet? Yeah, you should be trying it, because that's pretty cool. Um, especially if you are one of my print-on-demand listeners. So yeah, I think Teespring, if this is done correctly, this will literally change the game. Um, being able to sell your online products and not have to pay for a hosting fee I don't know to me that, that that's pretty cool and even if you don't want to look at my stuff do jump on the Teespring website have a read of what it is that you can now do I mean it's a free site that you can jo join and create your own stuff um, if you're a budding author and or a journalism person and you're like you know what I really feel like I could make a difference with you know uh, my thoughts on paper put them on paper and then hey you don't have to go through all that publishing stuff you've got your own hosting area for all of your digital content you could create your own mini shop 
for digital content. And I just thought of that now. So that's something you could easily do. You could go, hang on, Costas Enterprises is not just me. It's not just my print-on-demand designs. It's also this. So I will create a new Teespring site uh, or storefront for digital content, depending on how much digital content you create. Um, I know, to me, this is really, really important. Now, of course, as always, you will only be hosting the stuff that you personally create okay um, I'm not going to be condoning people that copy and rip off stuff that's not theirs um, if they've got a license to use it like say for example they've paid someone through Fiverr for a logo um, as long as they've got the legal license for that that's fine uh, but what I mean is you know you're not going to rip off some memes put them in a book and go here you go this is my memes book um, because you know you did not create those in the first instance so just be really really careful with that stuff because Teespring will start um, kicking down on that sort of stuff and the last thing I want is someone to be like hey look I lost my site because of this 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 I'm like well look mate depending on what it was that you were selling this is what you did you know you were kind of in the wrong so be mindful of what it is that you're actually trying to list and what you're trying to get rid of um, next week I will try to talk a bit about men's health because of course we will start Movember next week and that is one of the things that I will um, try to uh, promote for the next month um, in November. Uh, I will, of course, be doing Movember myself. And um, if you jump onto my, uh, I will be throwing a link next week to my Movember website. You're more than welcome to follow my Mo journey. Um, and if you want to donate, look, anything helps. Two dollars helps. A dollar helps. Twenty dollars helps. Whatever. It's a. It's such a great cause and. I do it every year, I've been doing it every year for the last five years, um, and yeah, to me, it's, it's if I can give back to people and try to raise awareness for men's health, mental, physical, whatever, same, um, it's really important. But until next week, as always, I want to say thank you and good luck, and um, hope to hear from you next. See ya.